Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to focus on the vocabulary words and pictures for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 9. And our anchor text is How Chipmunk Got His Stripes. For this lesson, we're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. You're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your answer out loud in a complete sentence or sentences. For this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper or a journal page. And then you're going to divide the paper into three equal parts or thirds, one, two, three. And you're going to write your numbers one to eight. Because for each of those numbers, you're going to write the targeted vocabulary word. So if you don't have your materials, push pause, get your pencil and a piece of paper. And when you're done writing your numbers one to eight, push play. Because at the end of our lesson, you're going to write a synonym or a shorter definition in the second in the second column. But if you don't catch the synonym, you can just write the word a second time. A synonym is a word that means the same, such as combine is the same as mix. Mix and combine mean the same thing. Or you can write a short definition. If you don't catch the synonym or the definition, you could always write the word a second time. But in the third column, I want you to draw a quick picture or sketch that helps you remember the word and what it means. All right, let's go over our learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, how Chipmunk got his stripes. Our second learning target is I can have a conversation with the partner about the vocabulary words and pictures. Success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at reaching these learning targets using pictures and context clues to understand important words and also having a conversation about the vocabulary words. Well, here are our steps to success. We're going to do them together to make sure that we are all successful. I will, number one, look closely at each group of pictures. Number two, say what I notice about the pictures. How are they the same or similar? Number three, read each word and its definition. Number four, write each word one to two times, a synonym or short definition, and draw a quick sketch. Turn and talk rules. If you have a partner at home, make sure you're eye to eye and knee to knee. You're looking at the partner. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Number three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Number four, don't talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. For each group of pictures, I'm going to ask the same questions. What do you notice or see? And you're going to answer out loud, I notice or I see. And you're going to finish your thought. Then you're, I'm going to ask, how are they all the same or similar? And you're going to say, they all, and finish your thinking. If you have a partner, you may agree, and you could say, I agree with you because, or you may disagree with what they say, and that's okay as long as you are respectful. I disagree with you because. So here's our first group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a boy climbing through a tunnel. In the next picture, I notice what looks like a tunnel or a tube. And in the third picture, it looks like a tunnel. So how are these pictures the same or similar? Are they all? Well, they all show tunnel. 
So write tunnel for number one, T-U-N-N-E-L, tunnel. Make sure you have the double N, tunnel. What is a tunnel? A tunnel is a passage or route that is dug under ground or through a hill. A tunnel is a passage or route that is dug underground or through a hill. So make sure you write tunnel. A synonym or a short definition could be passage or passage underground. The key is underground. A chipmunk knows how to dig a tunnel, which is a passage underground. So make sure you write tunnel, T-U-N-N-E-L. In the second column, you could write passage underground. And if you need to, push pause to make sure you've written these down. And then when you're done, push play. Think about it. What are some animals that can dig a tunnel? Tunnel. Number two, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice an animal curled up, sleeping. In the second picture, I notice a swirly cue. In the third picture, it looks like a girl is curling or hugging her body. So, how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show curled. The root word is curl. C-U-R-L, and past tense, meaning it happened in the past, is curled. C-U-R-L-E-D, curled. It means it happened in the past. The girl curled up, the animal curled up into a ball and fell asleep. Curled. What does it mean? If an animal is curled up, it has pulled its arms, legs, and head together in the shape of a circle. A synonym or a short definition could be circle shape. Circle shape. So make sure you write curled. The synonym could be circle shape. Here's our sentence. This fox is curled up around its warm, bushy tail. Think about it. Where have you seen a cat curled up? And again, if you need to, push pause to finish writing and then push play when you're ready to join us. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a boy standing tall and straight. Looks like they're measuring how tall the boy is. In the second picture, I see a tall monkey and a short monkey. Whoop. In the third picture, I notice a short boy or a short girl and a sh tall boy, and they're measuring. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show height how tall they are, height. This is a tricky word to spell, H-E-I-G-H-T, height. H-E-I-G-H-T, height. Height means is the distance from the bottom to the top of something, tallness, how tall you are. What is your height? So make sure you write height. A synonym could be tallness. T-A-L-L-N-E-S-S. -S. The tallness of something is the height. Here's our sentence. An eagle builds its nest at an amazing height. It is at the top of a tall tree. Think about it. What is your height? What is your tallness? So make sure you've written height. And tallness is our synonym. All right, number four. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, 
Well, in the first picture, it looks like the woman doesn't know which direction to go. She's thinking because it's pointing in four different directions. In the second picture, I notice the arrows are pointing up, to the right, down, and to the left in all different directions. And in the next picture, the boy is looking both directions before he crosses the street. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show direction. So number four is direction. Direct is the root word. Direct. D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. Direction. Direction is the general way in which someone is, or something is moving. Direction is the general way in which someone or something is moving. A synonym could be the way, the way. Which way are you going? The way. So make sure you write direction for number four. The synonym could be the way. An owl can turn its head in any direction. It can look all around. Think about it. Have you ever seen birds flying in the same direction? Where do you think they were going? Direction. So an owl can turn its head in any way or in any direction. All right, number five, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a boy is running to his friend. In the next picture, there's a sign that says one way. And in the third picture, um, a person is trying to decide which way to go. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show toward. So it has the word to in it, T-O-W-A-R-D, toward, toward. Make sure you write five, toward. If you more move toward something, you move in its direction. If you move toward something, you move in its direction. A synonym could be to. If you move to something, you move in its direction. To or toward basically mean the same thing. Um, here is our sentence. These bear cubs run toward their mother so she can protect them. These bear cubs run toward their mother so she can protect them. So you could say these bear cubs run to their mother so she can protect them. That's how I know that the two words mean basically the same thing, to or toward. Think about it. Should you walk toward or away from a fire? Why? So think about it. Should you walk to or toward or away from a fire? All right, number six, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice an arm that looks like it was cut and bleeding, and then it healed up and isn't cut and bleeding anymore. In the second picture, I notice a cracked vase, and then I notice that it got fixed and is no longer cracked. In the third picture, it looks like someone had a head, a head wound, and then it got better. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all show... Well, they all show getting fixed or healed. The root word is heal, H-E-A-L, heal. Healed means in the past, E-D means in the past. Healed, 
Make sure you write the whole word, H-E-A-L-E-D, healed. What is it? If something healed, it became well again after being sick or hurt. If something healed, it became well again after being sick or hurt. Healed. Synonym could be well again, well again. The Pangolian will Bangolin will go back to the forest when it is well or healed. The Pangolin will go back to it the forest when it is well or healed. Think about it. Have you ever had a cut that healed? How long did it take? Healed. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a person is, looks like they're bragging or talking about something they did to another person. And the other person is kind of like, oh, I don't know. In the second picture, it looks like the bear is bragging about a big fish he caught or she caught. In the third picture, the emoji looks like they're talking about him or herself. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show brag, brag, B-R-A-G, brag, B-R-A-G, brag. To brag is to talk proudly about something or to show off. To brag is to talk pr too proudly about something or to show off. Synonym could be show off. These antlers are something to brag about. Or these antlers are something to show off about. They are huge. Think about it. What does it mean? To brag is to talk too proudly about something. Next picture, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, um, oops, I noticed some girls are talking about this other girl and she's walking off, not wanting to listen. And in the same second picture, it looks the similar. There, are, The two girls are talking about another girl and the girl doesn't look very happy. In the third picture, I noticed two boys are laughing at another boy and the boy looks sad and the and the bystander next to him looks sad as well or concerned. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all show. Well, they all show T's, T's, T-E-A-S-E, T's, T-E-A-S-E, T's. When you tease someone, you make fun of them in a joking way. When you tease someone, you make fun of them in a joking way. So a synonym could be joking or make fun. When you make fun of someone, you make fun of them in a joking way. Or when you are joking about someone, you make fun of them in a joking way. Joking, make fun. All mean tease. Never tease or bother wild animals. Always respect them. Think about it. Did you ever tease someone in your family? What happened next? All right. It's time to check your work. You should have written all eight words. And then in, if you had time, write the word again or a synonym or short definition. 
And then um, a synonym means something like combine is the same as mix. Now it's time to get your crayons to rainbow write or just write your word again and draw a quick picture or sketch. Let's check your work. Number one, tunnel. Tunnel is a passage or route that is dug underground or through a tree, a hill. Number two, curled. If an animal is curled up, it has pulled its arms, legs, and head together in the shape of a circle, curled. Number three, height. Height is the distance from the top, from the bottom of, to the top of something, tallness, height. Number four, direction. Direction is the general way in which someone or something is moving. Direction. So if you need to, push pause. Make sure you write tunnel, curled, height, direction. Then you can write a synonym or short definition in the second column. And I highlighted some words there to help you. And then in the third column, you're going to draw a quick picture or sketch. So I encourage you to make sure you finished one through four, the word, the synonym in the second column, and the picture. Push pause, and when you're done with all four words, push play. Here is our next group of pictures and words. Five is toward. If you move toward something, you move in its direction toward or to. Number six, healed. Whoops, I don't know why I did that. If something healed, it became well again after being hurt. Healed. Seven, brag. To brag is to talk too proudly about something or to show off. Brag. Number eight, tease. When you tease someone, you make fun of them in a joking way. T's. So again, make sure you have all of these words written correctly. Five, toward, six, healed, seven, brag, eight, T's. And then in the second column, make sure you have the synonym or short definition. And I highlighted those as well. And then in the third column, make sure you have a quick picture or sketch. So if you need to, push pause. Finish words five to eight. And then when you're finished, push play. All right, at the top of your page, let's reflect and review our learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the folktale, how the chipmunk got his stripes. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said what I noticed about each group of pictures and how they were the same. Would you give yourself a three? I was able to say what I noticed about most of the pictures and how they were the same. Two, I was able to say what I noticed about some of the pictures and how they were the same. Or one, I was not able to say what I noticed about any of the pictures and how they were the same. How do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one. All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing the vocabulary words and pictures with me. Have a great day.